I'm at Sesney in Martin County. That violent storm that went through our area on Thursday also caused a house fire here, started by a bolt of lightning. Joanne just jumped. My wife just jumped and they go, whoa. It was, very, it was extremely loud. Al Ludwig was right next door when it happened, lightning striking a corner of a house in a pocket of Jupiter that is just north of the Martin Palm Beach County line. Inside the home, a woman and her two children, ages four and 11. She told us off camera, all of them smelling the smoke from the fire and running out to a car for safety. And that's when Al next door sprang into action. At that point, you know, the plans were kind of going up the, uh, up and into the roof and, yeah. and smoke, smoke big time. And I just took the hose out and I said, okay, let me at least keep it cool. And, and, and cause it, you know, my wife was on the phone with not, you know, 911. Martin County firefighters got there to put out the flames, even as the storm continued. The National Weather Service says lightning can strike at 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the intensity of the strike was evident in the damage to the home. And when those come down and strike something, I mean, you're talking about um, flames and heat that could be off the charts. The bolt was part of a storm that raced through the Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast on Thursday, packing a wallop. But this storm is packing a punch. The storm also sent a tree onto a crowded school bus in West Palm Beach. No one was hurt there. And back in Martin County, one family thankful that they got out from a powerful jolt. So again, damage to things like homes, of course, can be fixed. What's important is that no one here was hurt in Martin County. Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.